Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Andreas Speck, the Chief Executive Officer of Beyond Spots and Dots, and I'm here with Melanie Query. She's the President and Founder of Beyond Spots and Dots. And today we're going to answer the question about media plans and just have a little conversation about that. So what is a media plan? Uh, why do we use them? Why is it important for business? Maybe just give us a little explanation of that. Yeah, sure. So a media plan or a marketing plan is just as important as a business plan. And there are many, many clients, businesses, nonprofits, for-profits that we work with that don't have a marketing plan at all. And there's nothing wrong with that except that a marketing plan is just as critical as that business plan. And so for us, a marketing plan is creating, taking the dollars uh, that you have as an expense, as a line item, and taking those dollars and allocating them based off of the research and providing a recommendation with a multi-layered approach based off of that particular budget. And the reason why these marketing plans are critical is because they fluctuate. Um, for for one client, two years ago, we, we had 46 different versions because yeah, we pivoted absolutely. so many times. Mm -hmm. And so that marketing plan becomes fluid, it becomes flexible, and it allows us to work with that business owner or marketing team within that company, or even from an operations level, to, to pivot where they need to. Yeah, and actually, let's talk about seasonality a little bit too. So with seasonality, uh, perhaps, um, let's take an amusement park, for example. The amusement park will have seasonality in the sense that in the summer, it's gonna be really popular, and in the dead of winter, it's not popular. But does that mean that we just throw all of the marketing dollars into July and August? Or do we think about that a little bit more and plan out for the whole year and say, okay, we need to put this allocation to work in the sense that we have this amount for digital, this amount for TV, this amount for outdoor, this amount for print, um, or whatever it might be, and then the creative services around that, the interactive services around that. So in my opinion, laying that out for the whole year, it really gives the business a budget and an approach to understanding your own business and then moving forward with implementation. Yeah, I think also it's important to note that um, accountants love us, <laughs> or at <laughs> least are, the, yeah. the finance very accounting department. We're accounting focused in that sense, absolutely. The finance department within businesses um, appreciate us. I, I joke about it, but but truly because they well, then... Let's, let's talk about that for a minute. Yeah. So from an accounting perspective, um, I do have a financial background. Um, I worked at Federated Investors for, for nine years before this and, and can do accounting work and whatnot. But uh, you know that's really been one of the underlying processes of our business. And with the accounting aspect of things, it all revolves around money at the end of the day, right? So if you're a, a, a creative shop and you just care about the creative, but you forget about the fact that all of this costs money over time, you you lose a sense of of things, if you will. Yeah. So and we want to make sure we got that correct. Right. And so I think you lose that sense of what are your goals? Yeah. What are your goals? Exactly. What's the messaging supposed to be? Or if you have a grant. You don't just throw things at the wall and see what sticks. Exactly. You know, there's a plan. Exactly. And sometimes there's guidelines and, you know, working with lots of government entities, we understand and respect that too, that there's a grant and there are requirements within that grant that need to be followed. And this marketing plan allows you to have that plan in place and pivot where you need to, uh, but it allows you to understand and also work with your team internally to share with them what you're going to be doing or what the plan is. And, you know, does it shift? Yes. But at least it's a plan. All right. Well, thanks so much. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and uh, we'll see you guys real soon. Thanks so much.